How's it going, everybody? Thank you for joining me today for the first ever retail break on the Cardboard Corner. Uh, appreciate you guys watching these videos. As always, if you like the content that you've seen on the channel so far, please do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. It really helps uh, us uh, you know, know whether or not uh, you guys are actually enjoying what we're doing here. Um, and also give the videos a thumbs up anytime you actually like what you see, too. Hopefully no thumbs down. The break's bad. Even if the break's bad, don't give me a thumbs down. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, first uh, ever retail break here for Cardboard Corner, doing a 2022-23 mega box of Prism Basketball. Kind of excited to see what we get in here. Hopefully, uh, chasing you some of my Indiana Pacers rookies like Matherin, Nebhard, and Kendall Brown. Of of course, obviously the other big rookies too, like uh, Paolo Bancaro. Uh, Chet Holmgren, Keegan Murray, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, you do get 14 red ice parallels per box in this. Should be probably maybe like two or three of those being rookies. Um, you get four silvers. From what I've seen, most people, um, most of my friends who have mentioned opening this have gotten at least one rookie silver per box. So that's pretty good value. And then uh, the only other really big chase here is the, uh, the rookie autos and uh, veteran autos that you can get as well. Just so you know, if you do open this, um, check in the back of the box here. There are no um, numbered parallels available in the mega boxes. So keep that in mind uh, when you do go to rip these. These were 60 bucks a piece on Target.com. Um, I know they sold out at one point. I think they put some more back up. I'm not sure if they've sold out again, but that's where I got mine. I wouldn't expect you'd have to pay a whole lot more than that, even on the secondary market, maybe 75 ish. Um, you know, that retail flip game died off real, real quick. So if you're trying to rip any of this, shouldn't be uh, too hard to find it at a decent value. Um, you get a uh, six, 10 pack, or pardon me, six packs per box in this. Each has 10, uh, 10 cards and, uh, I think it's like three of those cards will be our parallels. So let's rip into this and see what we can come away with. Hopefully, again, something uh, nice and big. All right. Starting off, um, base look exactly like they did in Hobby. So if you watch that video, you kind of got my thoughts, but I'll share them again. I do like the design of the base set. I do think it looks very nice, but it is a direct ripoff of the set design in 2016-17 courts uh, or 2016-17 select with the court sides they look almost dead on other than prism being on the card so that's your base design got ben simmons noel beal hachimura and yeah as you can see we did have uh three um three parallel cards here in the center hachimura gordon hayward and our first red ice is oh that's not the Laker I was hoping to see. I saw the Lakers and was like, oh, LeBron, that's awesome. Cool. No, it's uh, Dennis Schroeder. Schroeder? Barely know her. <laughs> anyway, all right. We got a silver right after that. Also not a rookie. It is Vince Carter. That's pretty cool. Uh, nice to see uh, Air Canada card there. Used to love Vince Carter. That was my favorite player when I was a kid. Him and Kobe and Reggie Miller were my top three. Probably still kind of in my, you know, top 10 of all time. VC, Yusik Nurchic, color match, baby. Big money. Not big money at all. Uh, Usmani Dieng on the insert, instant impact. These are always so busy. I just, I don't know. I don't love them. What do you guys think? You know what? I'll say this. Was it last year? Last year's, like, the greens and the silvers did look really cool. Um, but just very busy design on those and then our last card is just a base of josh richardson nothing crazy there in pack one that just means the big cards are yet to come right 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 gotta think positively here uh got more base cards one of the weirdest additions to this year's prism set is daniel tice i think he played like 30 or 40 minutes for the Pacers all season. So very weird to have him have a base card. Trey Young, uh, wondering if uh, anybody else on his team is going to help him out in the playoffs. See that with his eyes. Sabonis Red Ice. Nice to hit a, uh, you know, all-star. And then we've got, that's not a rookie. <sighs> the things I could say about Dylan Brooks, but I will uh, bite my tongue and we'll just move on. Uh, Tyrese Maxey, so, you know, two great NBA players 
and uh, another guy in that one. Uh, Jason uh, Tatum on the dominance insert. Uh, these actually do look really nice this year. Uh, the dominance inserts in years past, pretty boring, but uh, I don't know. Kind of got like a Larry O'Brien trophy look to those. Those are pretty cool. And then Max Christie, uh, you might have seen that when I opened the pack, was our base rookie on the back. So the back card um, will always be a card, um, just like in uh, in Hobby, where the, the last three cards in every pack were cards numbered 200 to 300. It seems like this retail format, your last card is always also going to be a card 200 to 300. So you really only get one opportunity for a rookie per pack. Um, and not every pack is going to have a rookie necessarily either, because there are only 50 rookies. Scotty Burns kind of looks pretty dented at the bottom. Um, all right. Base, base, base. Steph Curry, red ice. There you go. That's a nice one. And our next one is a rookie. At Grizzlies colors. That looks like Grizzlies colors. Spurs. Oh, my gosh. If you've been watching the basketball videos on this channel at all, you know that I basically always hit Kennedy Chandler from the Grizzlies, Ochai Abaji from the Utah Jazz, and Jeremy Shochan. <laughs> oh my gosh, I actually called it. I was like, watch it be Malachi Braman. Nope, it's Jeremy Shohan because of course it is because I've always hit him in everything that we ever break on this channel. Yeah, if you guys ever need any cards of Jeremy, just come to me and I'll, I'll be happy to hit one for you because I feel like I hit the guy in every single thing I open. Granted, very solid rookie. Don't get me wrong. Like there are much worse guys to, to have repeats of, but man, oh man, uh, would love to see some variety in my stuff. And I just don't really ever get it. It's like always those three dudes. So Jeremy Shochan on the, uh, the red ice, it's a solid rookie. Let me put him on a stand. Jeremy, do me a favor, bring me something else good and not just a Steph Curry red ice. But I'll, again, that's a very nice looking card too. Um, it's like Matt Ryan of the Lakers, just like not even paying attention to the play. <laughs> Must have thought Curry was going to kick it out or something. Who knows? But Curry red ice, that's pretty good. Two nice red ices in that pack, nonetheless. We got Reggie Bullock on the silver prism there. And solid little insert here. Love seeing, you know, what in the world, though? Look, look at that. Oh, okay. That's just like part of the design. That's It just looks very strange because it's like just enough off center to show that little bit of silver up in that corner. Kind of weird. Um, but Jaden Hardy on the emergent rookie and something I'm just now noticing on these emergent rookies this year, they are not actually labeled rookie card anywhere. In years past, it actually did have a rookie card stamp. Um, so Panini just, uh, you know, Call an emergence, emergence. No rookies anymore on those. And there you go. Huge card. Solid card for my Pacers personal collection. Andrew Nembhard, base rookie card to finish that pack. All right. That's the halfway point. We've hit one rookie parallel. So hoping to at least get a few more here as we go throughout the rest of this box. And, you know, if even if it is Kennedy Chandler and uh, Oche Abaji, we'll, uh, we'll gladly take that, I guess. All right. We got... Diallo, Jokic, Giannis. Jokic and Giannis, right? Back to back. Is the next one Embiid? It's not. That would be weird. All right. Uh, our first one here, Draymond Green. Another all-star. Former all-star. We do have a rookie. That is red. If it's Bulls, Wizards. Johnny Davis, right? That's their only rookie, I think. Yeah, there you go. Okay, lottery pick. Look, Johnny Davis, talked about it in another video before as well, but you know, not as good of a rookie season as I would have thought he would have had on a, a you know, average-ish Washington Wizards roster. But um, nonetheless, great player at Wisconsin and uh, still time left in his career to kind of bounce back. Uh, but a Johnny Davis silver rookie, not a bad one at all, because at least, like I said, he is a lottery pick. So it's not like one of those undrafted guys or un, uh, or second rounders who didn't do much. A Coro. Red Ice, Peyton Watson, again, yeah, no rookie card stamp on that either, so it's not like it was just an error on the green one. And then a rookie card of EJ Liddell. All right, well, uh, we're not crushing this by any means, but we're not doing terrible. So, like I said, it did seem like every box of these does have one rookie silver. That's kind of cool. Um, but I think you kind of need to at least probably get two or three reds, uh, red rookies as well to make it, you know, get you your bang for your buck. All right, we got... 
Bertans, Duncan Robinson, killer game the other night. That kind of came out of nowhere. I don't even know what I'm doing with the stacks here, guys. Duncan Robinson, uh, we do have another red rookie, Timberwolves. I think it's just Wendell Moore, right? Yeah, Wendell Moore. Meh. Take it or leave it. I guess it's at least a parallel rookie card. And then James, I pushed Benedict Matherin in the back twice this season, Harden, and got away with fouls. All right. That's pretty cool. Jokic, Global Reach. Do you like the design of those with the their country flag behind them? Definitely some guys that will uh, perform better than others. Serbian. I, I always forget where he's from. Serbia. On Jokic. And then a Trey Jones in the uh, Spurs throwback jersey. All right. So just uh, as we head into the final lap here, we've got one uh, or two red ice rookies and one silver rookie. So hoping for at least one more uh, rookie parallel. What did I say? Abaji, Sochan, Kennedy Chandler. That's what this channel is about, folks. <laughs> That's just the base one on the back, though. So still an opportunity to, you know, get another color parallel of one of those guys. All right. We have Cam Johnson on the first red. And we will not, because it looked like, it seemed like the um, middle card was where the rookies were. Sonics, I think Gary Payton and Sean Kemp are in this. Oh, Ray Allen. Okay, cool. That's kind of neat, actually. Old Sonics color uh, match there with the red, right? And then, oh, we did actually get another rookie parallel. We got two rookie silvers in the box. That's solid. What team, though? Warriors. Oh, my gosh. I'm totally blanking. Um... They have Ryan Rollins, who I had no idea existed until I opened Contenders. And then they had another good rookie, right? Well, let's just see who it is. Patrick Baldwin Jr., that's right. Okay, I think he played at Missouri. Oh, Wisconsin, <laughs> Milwaukee. I think their colors are just like gold and black. And I think he was like airbrushed in another one of the sets. So Patrick Baldwin, um, you know, he has gotten burned. With the Warriors this year, not like super in the rotation, but has played a little bit here and there. Not too shabby to get two rookie silvers. Um, and then we're ending up with Jalen Duran and our boy Abaji. So when it was all said and done, this box had two red rookies and two silver rookies. Uh, no huge names, actually. Our boy Jeremy. So Chan, they're probably the biggest one. And we did a walk away with the uh, the Steph Curry red ice as well, uh, which is a nice, nice little added bonus to get a superstar um, in one of our color parallels. But uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not terribly disappointed um, with this box by any stretch of the imagination. It's not like a killer box or either, but uh, it is uh, probably what you can probably expect from a normal one. So probably going to get like three to four rookie parallels and then, you know, a lot of other color along the way. So Appreciate you guys watching as always. Again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, would love to uh, have you hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. Um, this will be our last video of this week. Um, I am actually heading out of town on vacation, so I won't be back till next week with more breaks. But do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the channel. Give me the thumbs up on this video if you could as well. And uh, yeah, we'll be back next week with some more uh, breaking action for you. Appreciate it as always. Thanks, guys.